Hello friends, I'm Dr. Rohit Shetty here. I represent Narayan Netralaya, Bangalore, India. I am very fortunate to demonstrate today the new lenticule extraction procedure from Elita Silk from j, &J. Let me start off with my patient today. This is a 32-year-old young girl who wants to refract to surgery and she has a correction of three and a half diopters with one and a half diopters of cylinder at 170 degrees. Interestingly, we have done work close to 400 eyes for the part of a trial where we demonstrated that we need to do a small nomogram adjustment in our geographical population and we can use whatever nomogram you want here so that this will help in the final correction. There are your K readings here. This interface is something which I really enjoy. You know, it's it's beautiful. It has that uh, the finesse of a beautiful refractive procedure. The refractive lenticule has a zone of six millimeters, transition zone of eight. It has an incision which is around three millimeters out here, and it. It, it gives you all the other data, the data of depth, the side cut angle. But what I want you to focus on here is the shape of the lenticule. For example, the shape of this lenticule is biconvex. It's very important because it's biconvex. When you have to understand this biconvex nature of the lenticule when you're actually dissecting it, which I'm going to demonstrate as we move on. Dear friends, now let's start with this procedure. Let's call our patient. Let's see how JNJ has given us this new machine and how it can help us to bring the lenticule out just like silk. Let's start. Before we start the actual procedure, it is very important to understand the interaction between the suction apparatus and how the cone works on it. For people who have used intralays, it has a suction apparatus where the cone goes in and you have to pinch here, which opens the suction ring and allow the cone to go inside. For those who have not used intralays before, this is how it works. The procedure involves inserting the cone within the circular gap of the suction ring. Once it lies on the circumference like this, we need to make space for it to go inside. So how do we make the space? You pinch the clip like this. Now the cone goes inside when it touches the cornea. If we don't open the clip, the cone struggles to go inside. So it's extremely important to time the pinch as the cone goes in, after which it covers the cornea and the whole process starts falling. Before draping the patient, we mark the 0 180 degrees on the slit lamp, which helps in cyclotorsion compensation. Using all aseptic precautions, the eye is painted and draped. One drop of topical anesthetic drop is instilled, eye speculum is placed. We need to ensure that the lashes are completely covered. We need to keep in mind is that eye is properly exposed, which allows us with good docking. We first connect the suction apparatus, then the patient interface cone is rotated and placed in the socket. We need to look at the PI scan which scan 360 degrees of the interface to look for any submicron deficiencies which might hinder the suction and subsequent laser from creating a flap or a denticule. This is a suction apparatus as we described and what goes into your cornea. And this is where I hold it in between my thumb and an index finger. It's important here that I place it gently and when I place it here, I'm watching for scleral show and whether 
or not it's equal on all sides. This looks very good. So I ask to press the vacuum, suction on and suction is on and then the vacuum is achieved. Now I hold gently and move the bed to the area where the laser will be fired. Sometimes at this point of time, if I see a lot of dry spot, I use the sponge with a little bit of fluid so that there are no dry spots. During this procedure, I gently bring down the patient interface cone. I'm looking at this image here. I'm also looking at where my hand is holding the suction ring. And I make sure my hands are steady, not tilted and in parallel. I don't tilt the suction apparatus and now the PI cone is gently touching. At this point of time, I look at the PI and now the step is very important. This is the space with the vertical height. I move the knob slowly, gently till I reach the green zone. Again ensuring I'm still in the green zone. Then I pinch the ring to allow the patient interface to come in contact with the cornea. And then I leave it and making sure the meniscus is not in the area of the laser and I push the meniscus as far away as possible. Here I can adjust the position and ensure centration on the pupil center. We have also shown the fellow eye here where we need to do a cyclotorsion compensation as well which is much highlighted feature on this machine. So you can see the raster pattern of the laser being fired here which hardly takes close to 17 odd seconds, we can see how the minimal spot to spot makes this possible and gives a smoother cut. Now it's making the incision. What we have here is a 3D reconstruction of the lenticular shape in silk procedure compared to other comparative technologies. It shows us how the anterior posterior orientation is biconvex. This is confirmed on OCT images as well. Keeping in mind this biconvex nature of the lenticule, we enter the anterior plane more acutely at the 12 o'clock position, similar to how you would kick a football. So we open up the incision like this and dissect two to three millimeters of the anterior plane like a wiper blade. After I do that, I enter the posterior plane and the way to do it is to enter three to four millimeter away from the central entry like this and dissect in a similar way. Then the anterior plane is dissected in a windshield wiper motion. Subsequently, the posterior plane is dissected, keeping in mind that one needs to enter to the same site where the posterior plane has been opened. Dissection at 3 and 9 o'clock should be left for the end. The dissection is then completed and using a forcep, the lenticule is completely taken off and examined to see if it has come in total and if there are any remnants which is left behind. I thank my OT team and also the team from j, &J Elita and scientists, the researchers, for making such a smooth silk-like lenticle procedures, which gives patients so much of wow and happiness, starting from the day one. Thank you.